This video might be a stinger, and I'm not talking about a bee. You'll want to tune in if you've got a pear down there. Here's the scoop. Man's fertility rates plummet faster than your favorite action hero from a skyscraper. In 1951, the average Joe packed over 100 million sperm cells per milliliter. Flash forward two decades, and that number is chopped in half. But don't start celebrating just yet, because that decline is still on the upswing, dropping by 1.5% yearly in the Western world. If we keep this up, we might have a major fertility crisis on our hands by the 2040s in Europe, the Americas and Australia. And it's not just a Western drama. Between 1973 and 2015, sperm counts in Asia, Africa and Latin America took a nosedive of over 25%. Let's spill the beans on the culprits behind this wild ride. First up, plastic. It is everywhere, from the food we eat to the water we drink. Plastics are now a part of our daily lives. But here's the kicker. Many of these everyday plastics are packed with harmful chemicals that can mess with your hormones and seriously hurt male fertility. Some plastics love to throw a wrench in the works by releasing endocrine disruptors. What the hell is that? These sneaky chemicals have been linked to lower sperm counts and sluggish sperm. They mimic or block natural hormones like estrogen and testosterone, messing with your body's delicate hormone balance needed for sperm production. Over time that means lower sperm quality and even DNA damage. Phthalates. You heard of them, right? Me neither. These bad boys can cause oxidative stress in sperm cells, damaging their DNA and making it harder to conceive. And even if you do manage it, damaged sperm DNA could lead to health problems for the baby. Then there's BPA, that pesky chemical hiding in food containers, water bottles and countless other everyday products. It is linked to hormone imbalances and lower testosterone levels. Some companies boast BPA-free products, but watch out. They often sneak in alternatives like BPF or BPS, which might be just as harmful. Here's a tip. If a plastic thing smells strongly of chemicals, run for the hills. And let's not forget about microplastics. Tiny little plastic beads that are now chilling everywhere. In the air, the water, the soil, and even polar ice. These particles can slip into your bloodstream and mess with your sperm or other reproductive tissues, causing inflammation and stress that spell bad news for fertility. There are ways to cut down your exposure. Switch to glass or stainless steel. Use them for food and drinks. They are safe and chemical-free. No microwave in plastic. Heat causes plastics to release chemicals into your food. Always go for glass or ceramic when heating meals. Be wary of BPA-free. Sometimes those labels are just sneaky marketing. Stick to safer materials. Cut down on plastic waste. Say goodbye to single-use plastic and carry reusable bottles and bags. Next up obesity. Yeah, that belly fat isn't doing your fertility any favors. For every 5 cm of extra belly fat, your fertility drops by around 10%. Why? Well, obesity leads to inflammation and throws your hormones, especially testosterone, out of whack, which is crucial for sperm production. And all that sitting? That's not helping either. When you spend too much on your butt, your blood flow takes a hit, affecting your overall health including your fertility. But don't sweat it. Regular exercise, a balanced diet full of fruits, veggies and nuts, and staying hydrated can help you to combat this. One more factor is stress. We all deal with it. But when stress takes over, it messes with your fertility. High stress boosts cortisol, which leads to weight gain, inflammation, and, you guessed it, low sperm quality. You cannot eliminate stress, but you can manage it. Try exercise, meditation, or just chilling with loved ones to improve your mental and physical health. So why does all this matter? Because men's fertility isn't just about making babies. It's a big deal for societal balance, economic stability and thriving communities. A drop in fertility means an aging population, putting more pressure on resources and making sustainability even harder to achieve. And if fertility rates are dropping, it is also a sign that our environment is getting more toxic. Think of it as a wake-up call for both our health and the planet. Choices we do are connected to the future we should await, and they have a notable impact on the environment. 
Cutting down on plastics reduces your exposure to harmful chemicals while also protecting ecosystems and oceans. Staying active keeps your hormones in check, improving sperm quality and your overall well-being, along with reducing your carbon footprint. Managing stress helps not just with fertility, but also with avoiding overconsumption and waste. In short, taking care of yourself is a win for both you and the environment. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck and be sustainable.